Uh, well, you see, uh, when uh, you hear the stories of the ancestors, they tell you that uh, uh, when the first, first people came here, they were uh, given some uh, messages, they were given some uh, indication how they were supposed to behave with nature. Nature is another society where there are lots of different beings there, you know, and uh, we relate to this other society by extracting resources. We human beings have this privilege of transforming resources. We extract those resources, we extract energy from the forest, from the river, but we must also consider that this other society then is losing something that we are taking from it, so we have to learn how to give back to it, so that we both, nature and society, can reproduce themselves. So this is the message that those cultures have been passing down from generations to generations, that we all have heard to, you know, sometime in our history, but for us modern industrial societies, we have gone away from that and, and uh, so basically this message is a reminder that this connection has never ever disappeared, it has, it has never been gone completely and we need to acknowledge this once again realizing that a lot of what we call the environmental diseases and a lot of the health problem today have de definitely to do with the deterioration of our ecosystems and that indigenous people have just another way of understanding this you know, the spirits that were created, the disincarnated beings that were created by the Creator to protect those, those resources have been, you know, watching uh, on, on those resources and have been telling people that they have to remind, remember those lessons from the origin. Well, the most important message that I have is that uh, is to tell people that nature is alive, that plants are beings that can respond if you if you talk to them, if you ask them to heal you, to heal you, to protect you, to if you learn how to live well with nature, it will help you to feel better and more healthy and also it will help you to learn about the things many people want to learn today about the mysteries of of nature of the world you know there's a lot of information there's a lot of wisdom which is contained in plants in rivers in natural sites it's there for us to tap into but we have to learn of how to approach them and uh, and from there we can maybe find many of the answers we have to our questions today. Well, I support the rise of nature because I, I speak with nature and nature is asking me to help to pass on this message. So I would like to ask, to ask you to join your voice with my voice to support the rise of nature. Nature is asking for those rights to be acknowledged, to be recognized, and uh, we must all learn how to listen to nature so that these rights actually transform into something more concrete based not just on what we think the rights of nature are, but what nature is actually, actually asking us to recognize. <laughs>